Hey guys, it's me, Melissa, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Team Monday! Our favorite day of the week. At least my favorite day of the week. Um, we have two packages today. They're pretty full. Um, not sure what we're getting ourselves into because, as you know, when these come in, I write the prices on them, and I put them in these, my portable closet, and then when it's time to film a video, I just grab one or two or three, and then I film. Um, also, so you know, the link and code down below will be for your $100 coupon bundle if you haven't checked that out. Uh, I think we're just going to pour one out and go from there. I actually did put scissors next to me. <laughs> oh! So, I may have to cut this open. This was $21.18. I may have to cut this open. I'm pretty sure I'm going to cut this open. Un momento. I'm in. So, it came with four of these. And what it is, is more of these big bags, which are really great for putting like my Poshmark boxes in or the things I'm selling on whatnot, put them all in here. This one's a little bit different. It has a zipper at the top like this, whereas the other ones, or is it the same? It's a little bit different. I think the other one has a zipper in the middle. This one's a zipper on the, on the side, doing the whole way around. And it still has your handles for you to carry. So I'll like put these in my car when I have all my stuff, even for like storage units, I'll use them. I used to use them for the flea market and they're really good for like the sides of them is good to be put boxes in. So that's why I got that. So a little more on the offensive side, but will come totally in handy for me. And then I got these. I remember getting them. $2 and 48 cents. One, two, three. I got four of these. One, two, three, four. Yeah. I'm just going to open one. This is like a reusable tote, and it should have a zipper at the top. So here's like, just like a normal, regular, reusable tote. But it does. Okay. Oh, but instead of being open at the top, it has a cool little zipper. So I thought this would be also good for storage units, for bringing stuff places. And you don't have to worry about anything falling out of it. Especially a lot of times when I do do a storage unit, things that are really, really heavy but small would be better for me to put in a bag like this than to put in a bag like that. Because a bag like that will get really heavy really quick. And this will be easier for me to manage. So I got four of those. There's only one more thing in this box. Intelligent Negative Pressure Cupping Massage Instrument. Scraping Cupping Meridian Dredging. Absorption of the Shaw, Massage to Relieve Fatigue. I think I got this for um, cellulite in the back of your legs. I think that's why I got this. <laughs> I wonder if it's it needs to be like charged or if it's ready to go. Of course, I haven't read any instructions. Like, as soon as you have full contact, with this thing all full contact, it starts sucking. And that's on the highest. I mean, it's still good suction for being a number one. I'll show you all the difference. And it comes with these, which I'm unsure of. That might have just been to keep it safe in there, and it comes with a recharger, so it's rechargeable. I'm actually kind of excited to try this. My goal is I'm, to, I'm not showing you that because that's my personal time. I'm going to put it on the back of my leg with like an oil or something, and then start trying to like drag up. That could be a type of massage too. You can even do it like on your back. I bought a long time ago those actual like cupping things, and I'm like, I'm not going to do it. So I ended up giving it to the massage therapist at work, but this I could see myself doing. I'll have to update you on a later video. <laughs> Alright, so that is everything in that one. Right? Yes. This one must be more elaborate. It 
it is. <laughs> so what do we got in here? I got some more of these because I love them. $2.27 for this size and then $1.83 for this size. Some of you probably even got these, a few of these in my home mystery boxes because I love them so much and I want to do spread the joy. But these work for so many things. Small items. It sits like flat like this, which is handy. I use this all the time for the flea market, like all the time. But they can be used for whatever you want. So these are the two sizes that I got. Size one. Size two. I believe there's three sizes. I don't know if this is the biggest one. I almost want to say there's a bigger one than this. Can't remember. I know I have all the sizes. Because I love them. This was $1.99. This is another decoration that I got for when we go on a cruise. Put on the door. We had a hard time the last time hanging up. Like I brought these hooks, but I don't think they were strong enough hooks and they wouldn't hit hook to the door on the ship, but it would hook to like the side beside the door. So that's where we put our little um, gnome that said like welcome aboard or whatever. But I also got this too, cause this is very lightweight. So in case we have trouble with the thing again on another ship, cause every ship's different. We could use this instead. So got that, obviously not for everybody. Oh, I got this thing too. Two dollars and seventy-eight cents, and it's supposed to be like acupuncture for your hands. And I'm guessing you put it on the inside, and it tells you all the different areas that you're supposed to massage to make. And it comes with a little thing with two different sizes to get in. To certain areas. Rectum. <laughs> Pancreas, eye, heart, ear, intestines, sinuses. I mean, I don't know. You get two of them. I thought it was kind of neat just to know. Kind of all the different spots. You can do it for your feet too, but obviously it's harder to do with your own feet. I'll put these right beside me where I sit. And if I feel a little pain or something, if I want to kind of like work on an area, I'll do that. <laughs> I buy everything so you don't have to buy it. Oh, one of those things. Then these right here were only 85 cents. I picked up some more. I'm team foam. I know a lot of you are not team foam. I'm team foam. I love foam way better than the normal sponge sponge. So, I just keep buying them. So many of them. <laughs> so many of them. Ooh, I think this is what I... Hold on. $5.57. I think I know what this is. It might be in a file. My files. It is. So this... It's almost like a little safe, kind of. But fabric-y. I guess you can put it on like a bag if you want to. And it has a lock on it. Which I guess, like, how would you... Maybe you have to open it up and do something with it? Hold on. I don't know. I guess you just didn't know that it's zero? And then... <laughs> I'll have to have Rob help me. Or maybe you lock it to something. Because it's got this right here. Maybe you put the... Oh, you put these! These will go in there, and they lock it so people can't get inside of it. Yep, got it. And then here is the thing open all the way. And it's supposed to be, I guess, for supposed to be for files or like important documents. And all of my like old tax stuff and important papers are just in this place in the closet, in like a plastic open bin. <laughs> So I figured like this would be a lot more handy and look more sleek. And then I guess you could just, maybe it's just zero. Yeah, because when I move it to zero works and then I move it anywhere else, it doesn't, it doesn't open. So as long as I remember zero, 
Like, who's really going to break in and go with my papers? But anyway, uh, I don't know if I'll lock it or not, but at least I know it's zero, so I could probably definitely do it. And then this, I know I bought this a long time ago, but I don't personally need it right now. I got a second one to do my earrings in my bedroom. I'll show it to you. $4.12. Had an opener here. Yeah, so I just got another one of these, which I was going to use for earrings. Look. This one bigger? Maybe not. <laughs> I'm not sure. Obviously, if it's bigger than the one up upstairs, then I'll probably put this one up. But yeah, if not, I'll save it for the new house or something else, maybe. I mean, you could put more than jewelry in there. You could put stuff. You put stuff in there. <laughs> All right, what's next? These are just so cheap. 64 cents when I got these. Um... I think this is the last pair. I don't think I bought any more. But, I mean, I like a good kitchen scissor. A kitchen scissor. And they only last for so long. Comes with a sheath. 60 something cents. And then... Oh, I got another... This is supposed to be another... Like, one of those five second... Four dollars and ninety... Seven cents. I kind of have... All this makeup on right now. Maybe I'll save this for. I'll save any of the beauty stuff that I find for another video, so I'll remember. I got this moisturizing cream too, and this. Maybe I'll save these for another video so I can test them out without having makeup on. Um, this is a 50 pack, one seventy nine. These are little lancets. I got these for Rob because <laughs> he likes to pick his face. He likes to like. Just pick on things. I'm like, this will make it handier where he doesn't, like, pick on things. Or he picks on stuff. Like, it annoys me, obviously, because I do a skin for a living. Like, don't pick things. Um, so I got him some lancets. So if he wants to, like, poke around on something, it's a little bit safer than using, like, a safety pin. <laughs> so, got that. Have I gotten a second set of these now? $2.24. I think so. Is this my second set or my first set? Ooh, that is sharp. So it's just knives. Another one of those things I'm going to like put away for the new house. I already brought all this stuff to my parents' house and put it in the bins. Um, I'm just going to keep doing that. I'm going to keep bringing stuff over there until it happens. We're thinking we're going to start looking at the beginning of the year. I'm going to try to save as much as I can. Because houses aren't cheap. <laughs> um, next item. But here's beauty, but I think it's a lipstick. 71 cents. I can try this out. And that is the brand. Don't seem bad to me. Not matte as of yet, but we'll see. <laughs> oh, I got... 38 cents. That's the only reason I bought this thing. I don't know if you know, like, the thing that people say when they say playing the... Like, oh, you're playing the smallest violin and the something-something. Like, like... Like, pity you or, oh, poor you. Playing the tiniest violin and the tiniest something. Something. I can't remember it now. <laughs> so here's like the violin. Got a little thingy. It's like, oh, play it. It doesn't play. That'd be funny if it did. So instead of like saying that saying, you'd be like, <laughs> you just happen. Like, you know, somebody constantly does things that are like, oh my God. Like, oh, poor you. Like, you just pop that out. <laughs> funny. And then this thing I thought was just going to be amazing. Four dollars and one cent. And it's like one of those jelly things where you can put it in the fridge and it'll get really cold. And then you put it on your face. Am I going to get makeup all over this? I probably am. Oh. Or do you wear it the other way? I wear it this way. 
I mean, it's cool right now. This will be good in Florida in general. I come in sometimes and I'm just so hot that there's nothing I can do. <laughs> and so this would be a nice way to kind of cool me off. Do I look funny? My mouth's a little, a little off on this thing. I can't see. <laughs> oh, I have to go right in the fridge. Right in the fridge. Ninety-five cents. <gasps> it's my car stealing wheel cover. <laughs> so I bought a car stealing wheel steering wheel cover. It's raining right now. Um, those Dollar Tree ones, they just do not last. They I don't know if it's the heat here or something, but the uh thing putting together comes undone and then just kind of like flops around so i got this one because it seemed hardcore and it still has the softness put that in my car tomorrow on the way to work take another one off plus it matches better the other one that thinks like like tropical or something something stupid and funny and then oh so excited for these a dollar 48 this is a little bit smaller than the one i already have Oh, you get four of them. So you get four of these. I I think they're used, they said that they were for like dogs, like pets. Or I'm guessing you can use them for like lice. But I use it for dandruff. <laughs> I mean, I have no shame in my game. I've had dandruff my whole entire life pretty much. My whole, definitely in my adult life. It doesn't happen all the time and I can, you know, it's, sometimes my hair gets a little dirty, but these just work perfectly. They go right in. And then if you have any type of flake, which I did, <laughs> um, you'll take them right out. So especially like when they're up in the front. Yep. Do the thing, boom, take them out. And then at least I'm good to go for the day. Also a good bang fluffer. I use this on the cruise because I thought I didn't pack my um, brush. Turned out I found it halfway through the trip. But... I was going to blow dry something, and when I was blow drying it with the comb, trying to have it go down, it melted the comb. <laughs> so now I got four. Fantastic. Oh, here's another one too. Here's another one of the five second things. We'll save that. Or I could just do it on my neck. Or I can still do it around. Let me open them up. So this one is a dollar seventy nine. Now I remember. I think I got this for my mom. It's the snake oil moisturizing cream. I wanted her to try it because she is using the snail one. But she can't find the one that she really likes of the snail one. I tried to look for it on Timu, but I couldn't find it. So then I got this. I was like, maybe she'll want to try snake oil one. <laughs> snake oil moisturizing cream. It comes in a... She won't care if I open it. Huh. This seems like it would be better for, like, your feet or something. But, yeah, I got that for my mom. So she could try it out. I have tons of moisturizers. But just to see what snake oil does to her. <laughs> Which, I don't know how to get the oil from the snake. Is there really snake oil in there? I don't know. And then I bought two of these and I wanted to see if they look different. Um, Here's this one. And then this one's on the top of it. So this one seems a little bit more legit than this one does. I'm just going to put it on my arm. I mean, obviously these things are not... You're not really going to know real results until you've used it for a while. I still have tons of stuff upstairs I still need to try out. Here's this one. It smells totally different. <laughs> this one's a lot thicker than the other one. So will just leave that on there. You probably can't see it. This is the one from the lighter one, and this one's for the... This one's definitely creamy and thick. Whereas this one's more liquidy, and more like a moisturizer. And I like the smell of the of this one better than the smell of the other one. Not that smells really matter. I got a new one of these. $1.79.
If you don't know, these are for your heel. I'm not doing it. The long time ago when I got one of these, I did it on camera. Well, at least showed the stuff coming off my foot. And people were, some people were grossed out. So I'm not going to do it again. But you just rub it on your foot. This is a, I use it when it's dry. I'm just going to see if it works off camera. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> that works way better than my other one, so I'm guessing that my other one maybe is dull. Because I was wondering why it takes me so long now to do it. So maybe it's just dull and I needed a new one. So now I got it. And then I bought this, which I'm scared to use and I don't know if I will. It was $1.77 and it's like a thing to shave your feet. I know like people at the pedicure places use stuff like this. But like I bought it and then I was like, I'm scared to work with a... So if anybody's used these and they think they work great, let me know before I decide to go up my foot with a razor because I don't trust myself. All right, next thing we have, I bought two games. This is more or less sheep in the world, cattle in the world. How good is your judgment? So sometimes it's good to play games, I think, where it's not completely where you have to be like super duper smart. Like we play my parents, all these types of games. And some of them just like you really got to be smart. Like you got to know your things and some of the stuff is like, tool for my time. I get to open these. Hold on. All right. So the more or less is $4.85 when I got it. And then the who am I and what am I doing was $3.82. So let's just take out one randomly. Let's see if it's going to be a fun game or not. Plus these are easy to like, travel with you too. Okay. Does a large glass of white wine have more or less calories than four McVitty Hobnob biscuits? McVites Hobnob biscuits, 268 calories. Does a large glass of wine have more or less? Less. Right, all right. Does it take more or less water to produce tea than coffee? Less. Oh, got it right. <laughs> There's two more else to do. In 2021, did Leeds have more or less people in Glasgow? I don't know. I'm going to say more just because I haven't said it more yet. Oh, more. <laughs> Is the area of Loch Lomond, Scotland, more or less Loch Nee? Northern Ireland. Is this area more or less? Less? Oh, I got it right. <laughs> Just slide that back in there. So yeah, this is a fun little, it's like a game where you really wouldn't need to know. If you got it wrong, it's not really like, oh, you're a dummy. It's not like that. Like at least you're just like, oh, you kind of like learn as you go. So this one, who am I? What am I doing? Take out new ideas identities and act out absurd scenarios and family-friendly party game. Well, let's take a look. If I can get inside of it. Oh, I can't. I need to prep for life. All right. Oh, so you get two sets of cards. So it'll be the who am I and then the what am I doing? So just to be whatever, it says pick one. You are, I think it's supposed to be Homer Simpson. Homer Simpson or Quagmire. And then you have to either be inspecting the troops or taking the dog for a walk. That's going to be hard. That's going to be a hard one. <laughs> I don't know if my parents want to play that. That'll be more of a friend game. And then what else have we got? All the stuff. Oh, there's another thing of cards? This one is 404, but I got it free with purchase. So this is a, I'm not going to tell you what this is. This is a game called So, and it is a collection of questions for deeper discussions. I don't know. I'm not going to read all those cards. It's going to take me forever to open that back up. This was 18 cents, and so I got it. Mainly because I had one of these, and then Rob took it to work. And I just think I should have one on hand, just in case something goes wrong with a faucet, or you're putting in a new 
shower head or something like that. So I just got it because it was 18 cents. 18 cents and we don't have it. I got these. I'm not going to go dig in my, my, my luggage right now is way back in the closet in an awful spot. So I'll have to try it out before I go to Rhode Island. This is $1.51 and it is an eight pack. And these will go on the wheels of your luggage. So it keeps them safer for longer and it's got like tread on it. Hopefully. What else we got over here? $1.98. Oh, these are, you get a bunch of them. You get a bunch. These are oral brush ups. So I thought these would be more handy to be in your purse than the other thing that I got from the Dollar Tree that's actually like a toothbrush. Minty Fresh. Guessing it's this side? Maybe it's this side? Got lipstick all over it. <laughs> I mean, it's got a little minty to it. Nothing like ridiculous. It's got a little freshen up. Open my purse. Yeah, it's minty. Wrapper, wrapper. And then we got this puppy. This is an eye massager. It has a thing with all the E's on it. <laughs> this seven dollars and nineteen cents. Sometimes I do get stressed out and I feel like it does go to my eyes. Like I don't really get headaches, but I will get kind of like it'll just I don't like it'll feel kind of like a little I mean maybe it's a headache. I don't really know. This comes off, I'm guessing. Yes. Can you see through it? Oh you can, but it's like really, really, really dark. The little turn on. I can't even tell which one's the on button. Are there batteries in it? I can't read what they say. Was there a thing in the box? Did I throw the box down already? Hold on. So I'm guessing you have to have it plugged in, which I can do it because it's right over there on the couch. Um, because I don't know. Is that French? No. <laughs> For two different sides. Is that Spanish? Portuguese? I don't know. It's not English. But so now it'll turn on. And there's different modes. So now make you make go up and down. I can barely read the thing. Or am I getting old? I'm just gonna put it on. I mean, it's doing what it does. Ooh. I mean, I really feel it. The bottom ones aren't really touching me that, that well. Maybe it's just this mode that's a little weird to me. I can still see you though. <laughs> I think I might like it better if it was all the way on, like all the time. But like, how do you know when you get there? Take it 10 years to find out what it was. Hopefully that wasn't boring for you. Wasn't boring for me, I had a lot going on over there. <laughs> then, oh my gosh, I got these. So this is, it's, it's supposed to hold an egg, but I got it for a second use. It's 96 cents for me to use for my sponge, my makeup sponge. Because it's metal and my other one's plastic. thought that would be better longevity. And then this is an egg cracker. So if you remember a long time ago, I bought uh, 
the gadget that helps crack the egg that how like it doesn't have like shells going it works great it's just not like a handy thing to have around maybe in the new house it'll be easier to get to this one supposedly just takes the top off the egg and then pulls it out like you put it in this and then all right so in case this doesn't go well look <laughs> i put a dish cloth underneath it um got these little things put it on the egg is it the wrong way that's gotta be the right way i need to put more pressure on it Well, <laughs> it didn't really cut through the whole way. Oh gosh. Oh, huge mess. <laughs> Glad I put this towel down. All right. This is probably better off if you're using it with like a hard boiled egg and not trying to get a raw egg like that. So I wouldn't say it was bad. I just think it would be more made for, oh man, this is a huge mess. <laughs> All right. Back on over there. Now, I'm not going to say that it didn't work. I'm going to say it didn't work for what I wanted it for. I wanted it for raw eggs, but it would be convenient if you're doing it for, um, like, people that eat the eggs out of the thing. You know what I'm talking about? They eat it just like that. They put it, like, halfway done or whatever, and they eat it in the shell. That. Or hard-boiled eggs. Maybe get the top off, and you can just peel the rest of it off. Up to you. <laughs> so, like I said before, all the links for everything that, that will be down below that are still available... Um, if they're not down below, it's not, they're not available anymore. Um, also the link in the code for your hundred dollar coupon bundle is also down there below. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, put them down below. If you hadn't yet subscribed. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you soon. Bye.